Find me on Facebook, and be sure to like and share your favorite videos. Well, first round went good. Chrysler 300 red lit, so I was able to make a nice full pass again. I had to get out of it a little bit there, got a little squirrely, but got right back into it to hopefully see what my best time was. We'll see if I went quicker than 12.30 out of curiosity. So I'm really hoping this gets people interested in bracket racing and realize how much fun it is. It's all going to start at 6.30 with a quick driver's meeting at the base of the tower to explain anything to anyone that's unsure about what's going on. 7 o'clock we're going to run a couple time trials so everybody can dial their car in and if you get there early you can make as many time trials as you want. You don't have to wait till 7 o'clock to make two time trial passes with the rest of the group. You can make as many as you want and 7.30 we're going to start round one but once round one starts you can't make any more time trials. You have to pretty much dedicate yourself to the competition until you're eliminated and then you can go back to time trials and just make as many more passes as you want free of charge. Huge shout out to Jim for hooking me up with this awesome poster. He made up something cool for me here. I'm no good at this stuff. Looks way better in color but I cheaped out. I'm doing this all on my own so I printed it out in black and white. We're gonna hand these out at the at the Friday night drag race tonight so hopefully we get a good turnout and they come back for the rest of these dates so check it out. Well I got lucky there the Chrysler 300 just barely went red a 005 red that's like more like pink I cut a .05 with a 6, that's pretty good. I had a good 60 foot, I actually ran a bit quicker, 12.26 and that was kind of pedaling it at one point in time. So I might drop my dial down from a 12.30 to maybe like say a 12.25 I guess. And we'll go from there. We're going to dial her in a 12.25 since I run a bit quicker that last time. Hate to break out, so we're changing it from a 30 to 25. <laughs> pretty good so far. Survives round one because of a red light. We're moving into round two. There's good turnout, 20-25 cars roughly. So awesome for the first time we've done this bracket race on a Friday night. Looks like everybody's having fun. GoPro win. Black Plymouth. <laughs> ah, just a little burnout for show.
Well, he red lit on that one. Man, two red lights in a row for me. These guys are making it easy on me. I thought I came out here bracket right. All right, so car ran pretty good. I'm glad I dropped it down to 1225 because I ran 1225 right on with a four. Cut no four light. So shaping up to be a good night. Moving on to round three. Thanks everybody for coming out. Figure there's about 25 plus cars, 25, 30 cars. So that's great for our first bracket race on a Friday night. Okay, we're heading up for round three here. Man, we're going round and round here tonight. Moving through them pretty quick. This is kind of nice. Stay focused for longer. That's cool. Well, there's six cars left. They're going to randomly select who's racing who to keep it fair. So we're going to see who I get matched up against. All right, well, I'm getting matched up against this little, like, Honda Geo car. He's out of the 19 seconds, so I'll be waiting around for a while. It's a Vision, a Nissan Vision, sorry. He must have a vision, he's made it all the way to round three here. seven seconds for my green light. I don't know, we'll see who gets the yellow slip and who gets the white slip. If he got it, good for him. Because I totally believe in beginner's luck. Well, I guess I won that, so that's good. I didn't break out. I won a 12.29 on my 12.25. I had a crap light, a point one. Like I said, it didn't feel the greatest. And he went a little bit too quick too. He was dialed a 19 flat. He went at 18.71. It's getting dark, sun's going down, down to the final four cars, man, this has been a blast tonight. Thank you everybody who showed up tonight, it was a great turnout, great weather, great track. So I'm racing a Crown Vic style car, dialed a 1638, so we'll get a bit of a jump on me. I'm dialed to 1224 now, I dropped it down a hundredth of a second, down to 24 instead of 25. Whether that'll make a difference or not, I don't know. Go. Let's get back. Gotta turn the lights on so I can see where the groove is tonight. nice solid pass for the fourth round. I got my nose ahead of him. I think I got him there. Hope I got him. So moving to the final two cars and we're gonna run off third and fourth. So if I lost that one, I guess I'm running off for the third fourth position. He's dialed a 1638. He went a 1633. Cut an out of too bad light. I was dialed a 1224. I cut no six light. I was able to tap the brakes at the end there. Ended up going to 12.42. So we're heading into the last two cars. It's getting dark out. This is awesome. They're running off the third and fourth position right now. It's a nice black, newer Mustang, five liter, versus that 
Ford Mercury that I raced in the last round there. Then we're gonna get together and take some pictures after. I'm racing a Chrysler in the final round here. Should be a good battle. It's dialed to 1346. I dropped my dial down to a 1220. Sun's down, it's getting cooler. Hopefully I can hook up still. Here we go folks, final round in the very first Performance Unlimited Friday Night Street Legal Bracket Race. Brought to you by Avin Squad and r &L Racing. One last big old smoke burn out for the night. Hopefully I win tonight because I think I spent about a hundred dollars worth of rubber tonight. came out here for. It was a lot of fun. This guy said he's only come out twice in the last two years, so it's nice to see him go to the finals. got it there. Sitting out of it a bunch of times. Boy, she was spinning pretty good. I must have had him pretty good on the tree there because I was able to beat him pretty easily. Man, what a fun night. Thank you everybody for coming out, trying out racket racing. It was awesome to see such a great turnout. Hopefully everybody had fun doing it. And thank you r &L Racing for putting up the payouts for tonight. It's very generous of you appreciate you, what you've done for the sport and for St. Thomas Dragway. Peace out. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help to promote drag racing. Find me on Facebook and be sure to like and share your favorite videos. Make sure you check out stthomasracewaypark.com or find them on Facebook for all your drag racing dates and information. Nerd Pickle.